So like Eiffel TV, in association with MTK Global, with me I've got Nolan and Adam Harper. We're here today in Birmingham. Go see you, mate. I'm absolutely brilliant, James. The training's been perfect, my weight's perfect, I feel as strong as an ox. No excuses for me on Saturday night, we've done everything perfect. Eddie Earn was very impressed with the way you spoke at the press conference today. He said you were such a good salesman. If, you're, if your boxing is anything as good as you're talking, we're in for a great contest. So, huge compliment from a, such a great talker in himself. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely not. I do enjoy the chat. It's what it's all about, though, isn't it? You've got to embrace moments like this and, you know, a massive occasion like this. I'm used to boxing on the small hall shows where I'm in front of three, four hundred people. I'm going to be in front of five thousand people now. I've got press like you guys here. So, you know, I've got to, I enjoy talking and, you know, just. Selling the show, I guess what it is. As you mentioned, you've done things the hard way coming up, you've had no favours of anyone. You're in with Ryan Kelly and just say, how much can you tell me about Ryan? Ryan's a superb boxer. Uh, I've got nothing but respect for him and like I've said in the build-up, I don't know why he's, uh, he seems quite agitated and rattled. Um, all I've said from the start is I've got respect for him and his team, hence why I'm coming in tremendous shape. I'll be bang on the weight. Um, and that's, that's all the respect we need to show him, the way that we train and the way that we conduct ourselves. Um, but he's a great boxer, but I expect to win and win good on Saturday night. Stylistically, what sort of like, do you think the viewers will be in for between your two styles? Do you think it will mesh? Do you think it will gel? I think it will definitely gel. I think he's a boxer and I'm a pressure fighter, but I think there's going to be times when that could swap round. And I just think it's got, I think it's got two styles that are going to make a superb fight, and I think it will be fight of the night, without a doubt. Great card this. How important is it for Birmingham that these fights deliver? Like Eddie said, the, the fighters on the undercard really turn up and put it on. Oh, massively, I think. When the undercard turn up, I mean, you've only got to look at the main events. You've got the Afai brothers, that's in their massive fights in Eggington. Those three fights alone are great. So the undercard need to boost that up just to sell the show, don't they, I think. And uh, I think you've got some real good fights on this card. And um, I think it's going to be the, the best card in, that Birmingham's seen for a long time that I've seen anyway. Some great, great fighters in Birmingham. As you mentioned, the Yafias, they get earned. Yeah. We've got Frank and Gavin as well trying to find his way to kick on for World Dollars. So where do you, how do you stand out from the fighters I've already seen? Uh, well, at the minute, I can't, I can't answer that. And I think it would be very ignorant and arrogant if I did answer that. I haven't boxed anybody yet. You look at Eggington, he's done it the hard way. He's kind of like the inspiration for anyone like us. He started right at the bottom, wanted to be a journeyman. He's come up the hardest way possible and look where he is now. Um, I can only answer you that question on Saturday night. Um, if I get this good win, which I expect, then I'd like to think I'm, I'm up in the mix then. Like I said, I'm here to gate crash the top 15 and the super welterweights. And after that, I want the English or whatever can come next. But I can't answer that question until Saturday night, because this is my first real test as a professional. Um, I'm not ignorant and arrogant enough like Ryan, who clearly already thinks he's going to beat me. Um, I've got a lot of respect for him, and I've got a hard, hard night on Saturday night. But We've trained so well, I can't see any other outcome apart from an Adam Harper win. When a boxer is like that towards you, does it, does it spur you on a little bit? Does it kick you back a little bit? What goes through your mind when you're not, in your, in your opinion, not getting the same respect? Oh, it motivates me massively. I mean, my last, so I've had seven fights, I've boxed seven journeymen like you do, that's the business. All the pressure's been on me, I've had to sell the tickets, I've been the favourite. My mate sent me um, the odds on the bookies today, I'm, underdog, I'm the underdog at the bookies. Uh, everybody's been saying I'm going to lose. All the pundits up in Birmingham, one out of like 15 said I was going to win. You know what I mean? I've done all my training. It's just motivating me every day, knowing that these people think they're going to walk through me and that I'm weak at the weight or whatnot. But we're, they're going to learn the hard way on Saturday night, I think, because I've trained so hard. But all I can say is a better man will win on Saturday night. Whoever it may be, the better man will win. There's no excuses from me. On that note, looking forward to a great contest. See you at the Wayne tomorrow. Adam Harper, thank you very much. No, thank you for your time, James.